Cindy Henderson. Um, I am the intern here at the Elkhart County Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, over the course of the summer that I have spent my time here at the SWCD, I have actually worked on a research project. Um, and as you can see, I have worked with tomato plants. Um, so we have the same, the same types of tomato plants, which are Roma tomatoes. And I have them in four different buckets. And so you may be asking, why four different buckets? Well, my goal was to see the difference of how well a tomato plant would grow in different growing mediums. So first off, I have the controlled variable, which is this one right here. Um, and that does not have any growing medium within the garden soil. Um, so it's just regular garden soil, and then it just got watered with water. And then next I have worms. So I put in 18 live worms within the garden soil and then watered this with just regular water. Next we have worm castings. And I actually started out with one coffee cup of worm castings mixed within the garden soil. And then I um, watered this plant with regular water. And then lastly, I have miracle Grow. So this is just regular garden soil, but then I watered it with miracle Grow. I recorded how much water each plant got, and then I recorded the height of each plant. So I would extend the tallest branch up as tall as it would go, and then I would take a tape measure and measure how high that was. And the same thing for the width. So I would measure from the longest, from the outside leaf to the opposite side, the longest leaf. So that kind of helped me get an idea of what was producing the quickest. Because within agriculture, that's one of our biggest um, key factors that we try to work with is efficiency. Um, because obviously agriculture is about feeding the world. Um, so we want to do it as efficiently and as effectively as we can. Um, so that's what the whole um, research project was about, was how the growing mediums affected the efficiency or the outcome of the growth of the tomatoes. So over the course of the summer, I've been able to work with this project, and it's kind of helped me realize like the more natural mediums that we add into whatever it may, may be, our flowers, our vegetables, our fruits, um, whatever we're growing, how much more natural things can kind of affect plants quicker. Uh, so I will take this knowledge with me as I become, as I'm studying agriculture education in hopes to become an agriculture educator. Um, so I can keep this in mind for my ag students hopefully one day and maybe do a research project like this to allow them to see the differences between natural growing mediums versus the lesser natural growing mediums. Um, so that is about all I have. Thank you. Thanks for watching.